Honourable members, the Standing Finance Committee will now resume. Um, there is an agreement that we will just stand down for the time being, the Ministry of Health, and there are three small entities, although in numbers they are small, they might be very powerful in their functions. One is the Equal Opportunity Commission, the other one is Pensions and Gratuities, and the third one is the Tax Appeal Board. So we will deal with these three heads, and then we will revert to the Honorable Minister of Health and his particular ministry. So we now have Equal Opportunity um, Tribunal before us. Honorable Member for Diego Martin Ortiz, we will deal with Equal Opportunity now. After then, we will deal with pensions and gratuities, and the last one is tax appeal. No, these were standby. We were saying that we want to complete. The, the, these are small entities. They are head, this one is head 75, head 75, page 436. Um, so, honourable members, the question is that the sum of four million seven hundred eighty eight thousand eight hundred dollars for head seventy five, the Equal Opportunity Tribunal stand part of the schedule. Honourable members, the sum of four million seven hundred eighty thousand eight hundred dollars for head seventy five, the Equal Opportunity. Tribunal is comprised of monies proposed for expenditure under the following subheads and items to be found in the draft estimates of recurrent expenditure. Zero one personnel expenditure. Item one, general administration. Subhead zero two, goods and services. I recognize the member for Aruka Maloney. Mr. Chair, under sub-item 22, short-term employment, could the minister indicate exactly what has accounted for the granular increase of the allocation from 16 million in 2013 to 40 million in 2014 and 51 million in 2015? Yes. <clears throat> 51,000, sorry, Mr. Chair. Short-term employment. Yeah. Yeah. Short -term. Oh, I understand. It's short-term employment, head um, 22? Yes, it's short-term employment. Short -term employment. Yeah. Um, the Honorable Member would like to know what has caused the little drift in the numbers from 40 to 51 from the initial figure of 16. This would be part of this would be part of the summer program that they have, um, that okay. they've been used, uh, where they've been um, taking in a, um, people interns to work with the um, uh, um, commission and, uh, and tribunal, and this is um, the increase that is representative of that. I recognize the member for Port of Spain South, and then member for Saint Joseph. Yes, Mr. Chairman, could you tell me, uh, sorry, Minister, could you tell me how many people are employed at the Equal Opportunity Commission? How many persons are employed at the Equal? Um, we have 20 persons um, employed currently. 20 persons. I recognize the member for St. Joseph and the member for St. Anzis. Thank you. Honorable Minister, item uh, subhead 02. Sub sub 27 official overseas travel, mm -hmm. which is a new sub item. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no allocation, no revised estimate for 2014, mm -hmm. 2013 130,000, 2014. Um, we are now at 424,000. Mm -hmm. What is this new item about, and could you tell us why the quantity has been increased uh, to this extent? Yeah, this represents visits to um, the judge thought that it would be important to see the operations of other anti-discrimination jurisdictions 
And as a consequence, there's been a budget to allow for that for a team to visit um, some of these jurisdictions. So it's more in the line of judicial con contact, yeah, similar. Judicial contact. So do you tell me which judge you're talking about? Yeah. Judge? Yes, it is. Hmm? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's it's a judge and two additional lay assessors. Yeah, the judge. Yeah. 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 Yes. The judge is Judge Joseph. Yeah. Um, okay. Great. Joseph. Thank you. All right. I, re I recognize St. Anne's East. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm looking at janitorial services and security services. This is the first time janitorial services are uh, is budgeted, and also the security services have increased from the estimates for 2014. And as I I'm, I'm, I'm just have one other comment, what exactly is the overseas travel facilities? Which is item number yeah. 98. So okay. those three questions, please, Mr. Okay. Chairman. With respect to um, janitorial services and security services, right now the, um, the tribunal uses the offices, uh, Mr. Chairman, of the uh, Attorney General um, they will be moving into their own offices um, shortly, right? Shugunas. Yeah, in Shogunas. And therefore, um, in, in those new offices, they will need to, to provide for these services, which are currently being addressed by the, the Attorney General. Yes, Member Faruka Maloney. Um, yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. One more question. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, yes. Yeah. Oh, Member for St. Um, that item number 98. What exactly are uh, overseas travel facilities? Oh, what? You have um, item 98? Yeah, um, yeah, this is an approved um, facility, uh, an, a facility approved by the SRC for all judges. And, and this is for, for the judge. It's a, apparently a facility approved by the SRC. For, for, for the, judges. For judges. And it's separate and apart from overseas travel, which, which we remember us. Yeah, which is a, an operating expense as opposed to a specific PUC, so to speak, or personal allowance. I recognize the member for Ruka Maloney. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, um, sub item 62 promotions, publicity, and printing. In 2013, there was a 27,200 allocation, and then 2014, it gradually went up to 90,800, and now it's 100,000. Mr. Speaker, I want to find out what's the rationale behind the, that gradual leap in the allocation. Yes, Honorable Minister. Yeah, this would be, um, Mr. Chairman, the expenses for the signage um, the, the, for the new building. Um, so they, they will incur some additional costs for the signage. And um, so, a, as well as in the, the normal printing, as well as the annual report. I recognize the member for Laventil West, and minister, then member for Water Springs South. The, the minister just indicated that this agency will be moving to their own office in Shogonas. Um, will, is that a rented office? Because when we look at uh, 08 chair, I'm seeing $19,000. Is it $19,000 for the year for that particular office? Yeah, uh, Mr. Chairman, that expense is paid for by the Attorney General. The, the, the rental expense is paid for by the Attorney General. Therefore, what is the cost for the, um, the monthly rental? Um, one fifty, one hundred and fifty thousand plus five. I recognize the member for what has been south. Yes, um, um, page four eight. Yes. Right zero two number fifty eight. Medical expenses. Could you tell me, um, is this part of a, um, a medical plan or is it an arrangement, private arrangement? What is it? Yeah. This this is uh, this is again was approved by the SRC, and it is the um, it's sort of a book for the judge. Yeah. An additional payment for the judge. For the judge, okay. All right, we go on to item one, general administration reconstruction. Subhead 03, minor equipment purchases. Item one, general administration. Honorable members, the question is that the sum of four million seven hundred and eighty thousand eight hundred dollars 
for Head 75, the Equal Opportunity Tribunal stand part of the schedule. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say no. I think the ayes have it. The sum of $4,780,800 for Head 75, the Equal Opportunity Tribunal now stands part of the schedule. Thank you very much, members of the Equal um, Opportunity Tribunal. Thank you. We now call on the members of the Pensions and Gratuities, who will assist the Honorable Minister of Finance. Pensions and Gratuities. What page is that? Those of you who are just joining us, we've just uh, witnessed the examination of the Equal Opportunities Tribunal. Coming up next, Honorable pensions members, and gratuities. We go to pensions and gratuities. Um, the question is that the sum of $50 million for Head 20, the pensions and gratuities stand part of the schedule. Honorable members, the sum of $50 million for Head 20 the pensions and gratuities is comprised of monies proposed for expenditure under the following subheads and items to be found in the draft estimates of recurrent expenditure. Subhead 04, current transfer and subsidies, item 7, households. Then we go, well, households, that, that's it. Yes, households. I ask, I recognize the member for the Gomate Northeast and then St. Anne's East and Port of Spain South. Could the Minister state whether any additional provision has been made for increased pensions for members of Parliament and judges in 2015? Um, Honourable Ministers, uh, Minister Rather, um, any, whether any additional, additional increase allocation or increases? Allocation for Pensions for members of parliament and judges. Um, um, no, Mr. Chairman, no, no. such payment, no such um, provisions have been made. What? We have made um, provisions for the public officers. As no, no, I, I didn't ask about public officers. Yeah. Members of parliament and judges. No. You have made we don't no have provision? No, we have no provisions. What? No provision. We so have to do something about that. We go on to who is the next person who would like to speak? Well, you something else. Um, I recognize the member for Digo Martin Central and Saint Anzis. Never. Yes, with respect to the pensions for defence force officers, mm -hmm. uh, it arose in an earlier line of questioning with the Ministry of National Security, and they indicated you might be able to help um, to clarify why these payments seem to be coming traditionally late every month to retire oh. defense force of they've been complaining about that so under this line i think we can clarify uh, okay honorable um, minister um mr chairman that is something i would need to come back get back to the honorable member one all right um who's the next person St. Anne's east thank you mr chair mr chair item number 10 gratuities to technical and professional contract officers mm -hmm. What's the reason for the big reduction of $35 million? Um, yeah, this, this was an adjustment which was made by Budget Division um, based on um, their projections regarding um, the, yeah, based on the fact that, uh, yeah, what they were saying is that um, the figures that we had in the prior year, um, when last year would have been an arrays of um, gratuities which was paid in 2014. Mm. And therefore, this would have been the estimate of the new fig the figure going forward. Okay. The member for Port of Spain South and member for Ruka Maloney after. Yes, um, Minister, um, under the same 007, mm -hmm. subhead 12, ex Gratia Awards, could you tell me what that $12 million is about? Honorable Minister. Is it payable to? Uh -huh. Thanks. This would be. Um, yeah, th this would be for retirees. Um, there's been an increase in the number of retirees. In um, 2013, they paid 160. In 2014, 202. Oh, Honorable.
honorable members, the question is? Oh, yes, member for Aruka Maloney. Sorry, honorable member. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, items, sub item 02, public officers gratuities. Mm -hmm. I would like to know what accounted for a $20 million decrease in it's, the it's allocation. The same, sorry, Mr. Chair, it's the same issue as had occurred with respect to the 35. It was a raise of gratuity, which was paid in 2014, which caused the number to look higher than in 2015. Okay. Yes, Honourable Member for um, Pospin South. Um, um, Minister, you mm -hmm. know, I'm just going through this quickly, and uh, I've seen increases all around. Mm -hmm. Public officers, mm -hmm. President's pension, um, what do you have? VTEP, everything, yes. Fire service, yeah, President's pension and everything inside of here. Mm -hmm. I'm asking, with all these increases, no like consideration. M Melissa, mm -hmm. you're not looking at me. Yeah, no, 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 I'm hearing you. I don't need to hear, I don't need to look. <laughs> yeah. um, no consideration has been given whatsoever for um, increases for um, parliamentarians, nor to the judges. Um, I suppose that would be the media review, Mr. Chairman. We, we come back in the media review. Melissa, you know that is not true. You know that, and I know that. But no, 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 no provision more. was made, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. <coughs> okay, on, honorable members, the question is that the sum of $50 million for Head 20, pensions and gratuities, stand part of the schedule. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say no. no. I think the ayes have it. The sum of $50 million for Head 20, pensions and gratuities, now stands part of the schedule. Thank you very much, you. members of the pensions and gratuities section. We now invite the Tax Appeal Board um, to appear before us. That is, that is head nine, and it's on page 42. Honorable members, the question is that the sum of seven million three hundred and thirteen thousand dollars for head nine, the tax appeal board stand part of the schedule. Honorable members, the sum of seven million three hundred and thirteen thousand dollars for head nine, the tax appeal board is comprised of monies proposed for expenditure under the following subheads and items to be found in the draft estimates of the recurrent expenditure and the draft estimates of development program. Subhead one, personal expenditure, item one, general administration. Subhead zero two, goods and services, item one, general administration. Subhead three, minor equipment purchases, item one, general administration. Subhead 09, development program, item five, multi-sectoral and other services. Honorable members, the question is that the sum of $7,313,000 for head nine, tax appeal board, stand part of the schedule. Those in favor say aye. Those against say no. I think the ayes have it the sum of $7,313,000 for Head 9 Tax Appeal Board now stands part of the schedule. Thank you very much, Minister um, of Finance. 